Hello everyone. I'm making this video today hoping to help anyone out there that have the same problem that I had before. I changed I changed that problem by troubleshooting on my own. So I'm just here to share with you guys. Okay, I have a hard drive here that um I loaded up with music and files, you know, and um with my music, when I plug my hard drive into with Serato, here is completely blanked. So what I used to do to get my music over here in, in a crate, I used to always hit file. And after hitting file, then I'll just hit my, my hard drive right here. And then drag all the music into a crate over here that I make. But um, whenever I do that, all the songs, if I hit on a folder, all the songs gonna always have like gold locks on all of them the reason why for that is because your um your hard drive that you're using which like you know i'm using this one but the hard drive that you using it doesn't matter the brand you know it's just that it may not compatible with your computer because of the settings in the hard drive so to fix that to get rid of all those gold locks and all the songs you'd have to get in the hard drive to change the settings so to do that what i always do I just exit from Serato. I will just select the hard drive, create a folder, like on the screen here, create a folder and then drag all the files and all the songs and whatever your video, whatever, you do to drag it into the new folder that you make and leave the hard drive completely blanked. And I know you also have that issue like if you try to take a song or a file or whatever to drag into the hard drive it's going to give you that round white circle with that white line across it as i said it's because your um the settings in the in the hard drive is not compatible with your laptop so it won't accept anything so what i did what i did to change that was um as i said i take all the files and the videos music out put it into the new folder that i make and leave this blank the, this is the hard drive i'm gonna leave it blank like empty then you're gonna exit from there then you're gonna hit the search key right here and then you're gonna type in disk utility right that's what you're gonna type in when you typed it in as i typed it in so that's why it pops up here you're gonna select it double click it then you're gonna see your hard drive here so after seeing your hard drive, you double click again on your hard drive, you open your hard drive. Alright, then you're gonna hit erase. Alright, you're gonna hit erase. After hitting erase, it's gonna give you an option here to change the name that you, that the, the hard drive is, right? So you're gonna change that name, which I changed it to this name. And if you notice, that name and the one that's on the hard drive here is the same name. Alright? So I changed it to that, but the main problem is right here. Before, when I when I get in here, it was showing me that it was it was ticked to Windows, which I'm not seeing Windows here anymore. But you have to select Mac if you're using a MacBook Pro or if you're using a Windows. You know you have to select Windows. But if you don't have if you not if you don't happen to see Windows, you're gonna select this format right here. This format is compatible with Mac and windows if you just want to select only mac then you can hit any of these right but i select this one so if i have to use back a windows with my hard drive or a mac i won't have that issue after selecting that then you're gonna hit erase after hit erase your hard drive here is gonna disappear off the screen and then it gonna pops right back up with the new name that you name your hard drive right so after that so let me get out of here so after doing that you know you're gonna exit then you're gonna select back your hard drive the hard drive that pops up you're gonna select it it's gonna it's gonna be empty all right because when you erase it you wiped it but remember you already moved all your files and your folders and your music whatever so the folder that you created here now you're gonna open it up like double click open it up then you're gonna drag all the songs all the files whatever into the into your um hard drive and load it up and then you know everything is gonna load it right back up so now you're gonna have the you're gonna have the 
the option now to like drag if you have a music if you have a song or a video or a file whatever now you can drag it inside inside this folder it won't give you that i'm um, sorry you can drag it into your um hard drive it's not going to give you any problem anymore that with that round white circle with that white line across it no you're not gonna have that anymore all right so after i did all of that then you know i i, I hit back my um my serato and then you know when i as i plugged in my my hard drive then all my songs pops, pops up with you know just like this all the gold locks was gone so i'm gonna plug it out right now you know this is not good to plug it out while it's playing but i'm gonna do it anyway so i plugged it out and look all the, everything is gone so now i'm gonna plug it back in and just waiting for all the the folder to load it load back up with my music so now it's reading it as you can see it's blinking it's reading it it's scanning now to so there you go it's coming up now so that's how it should be working when you plugged in your hard drive and then as you click on a folder your music should be popping up with no gold locks so i hope that this music um this video helps uh it's not the best video but you know i just want to share with you guys so that it can help you guys so you you won't have this issue anymore i know it's a headache but you know i troubleshoot on my own and i get it done so i hope you enjoy this video i hope it works for you thank you very much have a wonderful evening or a wonderful day morning whatever day it is <laughs> whatever time of the day have a good one thank you